Hi everybody, my name is Roman and today we're going to calculate our first bit in Google Ads. I'm going to talk about how the bits working inside the Google Ads and Bing, what you have to know, what is a quality score, and I'm going to propose you one of the first methods how to calculate your first bit. It's not the most accurate one, it's not the best one, but it's the best one if you have no experience in Google Ads and you wanted to know how it actually works. So let's start with the introduction to some uh, names of the stuff that exists in Google Ads. First is a bid. Bid is a how much you're ready to pay. This is the maximum or amount of money you're going to spend per each click or per each view, depending on what you create. And CPC is how much you're actually paying. The difference between these two is that only several clicks out of all clicks have a maximum bid. Most of the clicks for each click has less price than your bid. So on average, if you have $1 bid per click, you will have CPC depending on the, what you're selling and how you do advertising in between half a dollar to 75 cents. It, dif it differs from one topic to another, from one location, language, and a lot of other different variables to another. But as from my experience, I could say that it's about usually 50 to 80% out of your bid. That means that we can make bids a little bit higher than we're ready to pay because the CPC will be always lower. Another thing is a quality score. Quality score is the mark that Google Ads give you to understand how good you are. And this is the most important thing inside your Google account because depending on the quality score, you can pay $1 per click, 50 cents per click or $10 per click. Quality score has a lot of different variables in it, like hundreds of them. The most three important groups of these variables is expected click-through rate, so how Google think your ad will behave in each different auction. So if I Google something and I see you ad, how big is the chance that I will actually click on it? Ad relevance is something that we can directly affect because it represents how relevant you add to your keyword and to, to your landing page and to what people are looking for right now. So all three, all things inside your account from landing page to the keyword should be relevant to search, quer to search query that I'm actually typing in. And landing page experience is something that represents how big is the chance that I will like your landing page, your site, I will stay on it and I will be satisfied with something that I have after I click the ad. So the very important thing here that Google is trying to make me as a user be always satisfied with each my click inside Google. Because if I click on the ad and I leave the page in, I don't know, in 30 seconds, that means that I'm not satisfied and I will probably, if I, if I repeat this two, three times, will switch to another search engine. That is not good for Google. Even if we paid advertising, Google Ads trying to stay only with those partners that actually will satisfy their clients. And if you do not satisfy, you will lose a lot of impression share. So you just, with a high bid, you won't be shown on the Google Ads page. Ad rank is something that is used to calculate how much you're going to spend per click. And if we make it very, very simple, simplified as much as we can, Ad rank represents CPC, bid, how much you're actually ready to pay, and the quality score, how big is the chance that the customer will be satisfied with something he will see on your page. So how does it work actually? Quality score affects very, very much. We don't know exact formula, but we know average formula that represents the average situation in Google Ads. Let's have a look here. We have four advertisers. Each of them paying different bid. First is paying two bids and has a quality score of 10. Second is paying $4 bid and has a quality score of four. Third is a $6 and quality score two. And the fourth paying four times bigger amount of money than the first one, but has a quality score one. And then we see that these two variables are multiplied by each other and the result is ranked from the best to the worst.
what you have to know is that actually quality score depending on a lot of different factors it's for example external factors from landing page it's the code quality the site speed the site relevancy the site behavior mobile friendly stuff how it actually uh, how people actually behave on your site conversions information a lot of like hundreds of different things some of them coming from ads directly some of them coming from seo information of this page and all these are combined together but it also use a lot of different internal stuff to make it simple we're trying to make to use only three metrics here sorry so and each metric has three different marks above average average and below average if you have a below average mark for any of the three that means that you really doing your job bad because in that case you overpaying a lot for example just an example imagine that by improving your quality score so you're not changing anything in real you don't make a new stock you don't make opening a new shop or changing i don't know the prices you will pay 30 percent less for each click that will make you a that will give you a huge room of potential to improve your google ads so coming back one more thing you should know is that why it's all happening this way it's not only because google ads trying to satisfy each customer but it also because google is earning not on clicks but on impressions this is the only thing google cannot change in all um, business model it's like it's the same imagine you have a grocery store and the only thing you cannot affect directly is how many people entering the door every day but what you can make what but what can you change is that how much money people spend after they enter this door the same thing google is trying to do he's trying to earn as much money today and tomorrow so from strategic point of view and from tactic point of view as possible and imagine we have ad star and john snow competing to each other two advertisers with the same click keyword with the same ad with the same landing page that actually never happens but but for example purposes that works and ad stark is ready to pay one dollar per bit and the john star john snow is ready to pay one with half dollars per bit so one with a half times bigger amount of money but the click through rate of ad stark is two times higher which means that ad stark will give google ten dollars per each hundred of impressions and Jon Snow will give only $7.5 per each 100 of impressions. Sorry for a mistake on this slide, I have percentages, but it should be dollar sign on the last column. So no matter that Jon Snow is ready to pay more for each click, it has so smaller click-through rate, it does not compensate the Ed Stark smaller bit. So Ed Stark is going to win the auction and Jon Snow is going to lose. So when you're trying to calculate your first bid, you need to take in consideration that you have a lot of different conversions on the way. So if people actually click on your ad, that doesn't mean they're going to buy today or they're going to buy tomorrow or they're going to buy at all. The percentage number out of all people that actually booking online to all people that actually coming to your site is a conversion rate. Another thing that even if you pop people buying something on your site directly or leaving a lead form, there is still some part of cancellations and some part of unconfirmed sales that we also have to take in consideration. And we call that a sales conversion rate. Imagine you sale Mercedes-Benz and 30% of all people that actually leaving their contacts on your site are buying the Mercedes. In that case, you have sales conversion rate 30%. All this is needed to understand how much, how many people out of all coming to your site will actually leave a real money in your business. And it's a very simplified formula. I know that you also have taxes, you have a lot of different products, but for first bid, you need to make it as simple as it takes. You take average margin per each sale, for example, $300 I earn per each sale I do. I also take a side conversion rate which is 5% and sales conversion rate, which is 20% for this example. And these numbers can vary from business to business and they will vary. And I can multiply all this stuff together and end up with a max sales CPC $3. That, mean, that means that if I will pay $3 per each click, I will earn nothing. 
but because I know that the actual CPC is lower than my bid and then maximum CPC, I will end up with earning per each click and I don't know how much. Later, when you launch a campaign and you see the results and you see different conversion rate amongst different keywords and you can compare this data, you will adjust the CPC. But you have to start with something. And to make it at least a little bit scientific, this is the formula you should use. And keep in mind three things. First, not all conversions are equal. Some people that actually make a conversion on your site will, make, will buy a lot of products. Some of them will buy single product and some of them will end up with cancellation. So you take for the first bid average amount of all these people and then when you have the actual information and actual data in your account, you're trying to split them and to divide them in different buckets. The same works with traffic. Not all people, not all keywords give you same people on your site. So some keywords bringing you a very hot people that are ready to give you money right now, like shut up and take my money. Some people coming to your site from several keywords and never will buy anything. That is very difficult for us to understand because we from offline experience know that if people coming to your grocery shop 95% they will end up buying something. People not going to BMW salon if they don't have money at all. But in internet, in online world, it works differently. For example, you can find out that people that are typing buying BMW will buy two times, two times more often or two times less often than people that are typing BMW buy. And this is very, very cool and very important stuff you need to consider. And the same works for keywords. So conversions, traffic and keywords are works differently. And that's all I wanted to tell you this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please leave in the comments below, make your suggestions, and I will make these videos even more precise and more interesting for you. Subscribe to this channel and bye-bye.